This is a review of the Canon 40D. Uh, it's classed as a prosumer level camera and it was launched in 2007. It's since been replaced by the Canon 50D and Canon 60D, so you can't buy it new anymore, but there are plenty of second-hand and refurbished models still available, and it is an outstanding camera. So the 40D is a 10 megapixel camera, and on this one here I've attached a Canon 28 to 105mm lens on the front. Uh, the actual weight, if you ignore the lens, is 740 grams, and the actual body construction is um, magnesium alloy. Um, the camera itself has nine focusing points, and it uses a Digic 3 processor. Um, you'll find that the 50D and the 60D use a Digic 4 processor instead. Uh, the 40D uses compact flash memory, um, which is the same as all the previous versions of the uh, XXD line. Um, it's worth pointing out that the latest version, which is the 60D, uh, that uses SD cards instead. On the top of the camera, uh, ISO white balance buttons, for example, at the top. The ISO range is from 100 up to 1600, and then there's a high mode option which takes it up to 3200. White balance, as I said, is adjusted here. Um, continu continuous shooting mode, it'll do 6.3 uh, shots a second, which is pretty fast. It's actually faster than the latest version, the 60D only does 5.3 shots a second. On the back of the camera, uh, you've got your standard navigation wheel and you've got a joystick for navigating through your pictures. Uh, your standard uh, menu and info buttons at the bottom as well. Uh, the 40D takes both EF and EFS style lenses. Uh, you connect your camera to a laptop via USB and opening up the other flap you can see you can connect the camera to an external flash. Uh, you, can't, you don't have an external flash on the Canon 60D which is the latest version so that's worth bearing in mind and you can also connect the camera to a remote as well. When you turn the camera on at the back uh, you immediately get the sensor cleaning and it also cleans the sensor as well when you turn the camera off at the end as well so that's useful. To quickly show you a few sample images taken with the 40D uh, these first few images were taken with a Sigma 70 to 300 mil lens uh, this image here is set to ISO 100 um, and this picture here is the same shot but at 3200 ISO level and you know you can't really detect any grain at all uh, in the difference between 100 and 3200 in this case. Uh, the next image, another macro shot. This image here was taken with, a, with the Canon 28-105mm lens and this sky shot was taken again with the same lens uh, at ISO level 100. Now the next shot here is the same scene but up to 3200 you can detect a bit more grain in this shot uh, but it's not you know hugely noticeable. Um, you can see full uh, resolution versions of all these pictures if you go to my website. I thought it would be useful to compare the Canon 40D with the latest model currently available which is the 60D. Um, on first quick in inspection, they both look virtually the same camera, really. Um, on the back, though, you can see that there has been somewhat of a change uh, in terms of the menu layout. I'll go on to that briefly in a moment. Uh, but the 60D here. So this camera is uh, pretty much twice the price of a 40D. So, you know, there's a, there's a cost implication of getting the latest model. Uh, what do you get for your money? Well, firstly, it's an 18 megapixel camera as opposed to a 10 megapixel camera, so you're going to get a higher image resolution. Uh, ISO level has been increased up to 12,800 instead of 3,200 on the 40D. Um, but, and it also uses a Digic 4 processor as opposed to a Digic 3, so the internals are obviously being slightly improved. Uh, the two big things though with the 60D, uh, firstly that it is that it shoots high definition video. Uh, you can't shoot video with the 40D, so if you're going to do a lot of video work you'd go for the 60D instead. And secondly on the back it's got a flip out LCD screen which also you can use as the viewfinder. Uh, that's a technology called um, Live View and that was available in both the 50D and the 60D. And that is very, very useful for things like macro photography so that you can use the LCD screen instead of the viewfinder at the top to set up your images. 
there are a couple of downsides with the 60D though. Uh, firstly, there's no um, flash, external flash connection, so you can't connect an external flash uh, to the 60D, so that might be important for some people. Secondly, the body construction. Um, the 60D's body is built out of something called polycarbonate resin and it's on an aluminium chassis and it feels slightly more plasticky to the 40D which was built out of magnesium alloy. Um, the other downside um, apart from the price is the uh, continuous shooting mode. Um, continuous shooting mode on the 60D is uh, 5.3 frames a second, whereas the 40D manages 6.3, um, so you get an extra shot a second with the 40D. If I was trying to decide between which of these two cameras to go for, or I was wondering whether or not to upgrade to the latest model, um, I think my decision would rest upon what it was I wanted to use the camera for really. I mean if I, want to sh if I wanted to shoot high def video, I was doing a lot of high def video work, then I'd definitely consider getting the 60D. Uh, secondly, if I had a lot of macro lenses and I was really into macro photography, again I would definitely consider getting the 60D because the flip out screen on the back makes macro photography a lot easier in my opinion. If on the other hand that's not the case and I want a good quality camera that I can use in lots of different environments, um, it's going to take good images and it's not going to break the bank balance to own one, I would definitely consider getting a Canon 40D because it really is a, an outstanding camera. So that's my review of the Canon 40D. Um, I think this is an excellent camera, I really do. It's probably the camera that I've enjoyed using most out of uh, all the ones that I've reviewed so far. Um, it takes excellent quality pictures, it's easy to use, very well thought out uh, menu layout and buttons. LCD screen on the back is also very very good. Um, and I mean the, the big thing is as, as it's been around for a couple of years now it's not expensive to buy one of these and it's you know it's a high quality camera at a, at a pretty good price. There we are, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review of the 40D and if you'd like to check out some more reviews you can go to my YouTube channel which is SLR Lens. Thanks.